In communicative grammar too, you know that we have different grammar structures and today we are studying the following one, the present progressive. This tense is used to talk about an action that can be or not happening right now. Non-action verbs are not usually used in the present progressive and for an action that is taking place at this time but may not be happening at this moment, we can also use the present progressive tense. We use time expressions with these things and we will notice them in the following examples. He is working. Notice that we use ing to form the gerund, which is basic when talking about the present progressive. She's not playing now. They are studying hard or many people are using Facebook. In this case, notice that this is a present progressive because the verb which is the main verb, is in the present tense. He is, she is, or they are. The forms, the three forms, the three different branches of be, are used here, but what's the difference? That the verb needs an ing ending in order to be a continuous or a gerund and in order to be transformed into a present progressive tense. I can also say I'm explaining English or I'm studying grammar. You can write or use a great variety of ing endings, but it is important to use the verb because if you don't use the verb and if you are just trying to say he working, this is not a correct sentence. So it is mandatory if you are uh, about studying a grammar topic to focus your attention on, especially on, on verbs and on ing endings. And just no questions in these tenses can also happen. They are used to ask about something that is happening now. Most WH questions in the present progressive tense use the same word order as just no questions, the ones that you, I'm sure you know, and who and what plus the subject directly. She is working at the lab. This is a, a, a basic grammar sentence, which is an affirmative one. And if you want to, to try to write it in or to transform it into a question, notice the following rule. First, at the beginning of the question, you need your verb, is, am, or are. Then the personal pronoun and then the verb with an ing ending. Is she working? Am I working? Are you studying? It depends. But if you are talking about a continuous tense, it means that all verbs need an ing ending. Even though they are regular or irregular verbs, the thing is that the ing ending cannot be omitted. It needs to be used and notice the verbs. The verbs need to appear and the question mark at the end. Since if you don't use a question mark, it means that this is not a question. Where is he living? which is a question for he is living. What is happening or who are you meeting? In these cases, when talking about what or who, nothing changes. The only thing that you need to pay attention to is the correct use of am, is, or are. But let's change a little bit to the simple past tense. If I know you know now the simple present and the present progressive. It is time to try to understand the simple past. And this structure is used to tell about those things that are finished, those things that maybe you know that in the past tense were something in, in that occurred or was an action that occurred, but in the past tense. The verb form is the same for all persons because you are talking about the past and later on we are noticing this explanation into some examples. And for uh, the negative tense, we use did, which is an auxiliary plus not, as in the present tense you use do or does, in the simple past you just need to use the, this auxiliary, plus the base form of the verb. Not an, a different form, just the base form. It means that you don't need to add an S to the verb, even though you are talking about a third person. And time markers at the beginning or at the end of this simple past tense sentence. In these examples, I visited Bogota last month. Notice that here you are using an ED ending because visit is a regular verb. 
If you need to classify verbs into regular and irregular, it means that you need to know or not not memor not by memorization, but you need a clear explanation and you need to know their uses in order to understand and to use ed endings or not in a correct way. We did not stay at a hotel in this case. If you are using a negative way, notice that you have to use did and not plus the plus the base form of the verb in this case stay. And yesterday I studied for my English test. Study is a regular verb and that's why we are using an ed ending in the verb. And for yes, no and wh questions in the past tense, they have the same form, which is did an auxiliary plus a subject plus the base form for regular and irregular verbs. And the verb B is the one exception. WH questions in the past do not necessarily use did when the question is about the subject especially, which is something very similar to a previous explanation that you have or must have found in your books. Did you want that car? Were you good at French? What did you eat? Where did you go, for example? But notice here, when you are using who, this is not necessary to use the auxiliary did. Directly, the correct form or the past form of the verb. When you are talking about who, because who is an exception. And where did you go, which is a very simple way, and notice the verbs. The verbs or the main verbs are not necessarily added or, 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 not, or an S, for example, has not been added here because you have an auxiliary form. And I think that is all the explanation regarding this topic. Thank you.